Hi, beauties and curls. We are back. I know this is like, oh, this is driving me crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Make it comfy for you, girl. Ooh. Hi, beauties and curls. We are back with another video. It's Melissa Q. Today's video is February favorites. Yes, my favorite part. I love doing favorites videos and you guys love watching them so I'm going to continue to do them but let's get straight into this video because I have quite a bit in February because of January being when all new drugstore stuff comes out y'all I have a lot of drugstore but I also have some high-end so I'm gonna meet everybody's pocket okay first thing I want to talk about are natural hair products y'all i have been loving this garnier whole blends replenishing leave-in conditioner this is so good i think i got this for either like i think 5.99 or 6.99 from walgreens it's silicone free no way down hello i have it in my hair today and i do have a full review coming on this i'll probably post that sometime next week but this is in, it says intensely nourishes and softens i love this this is probably one of my favorite affordable it just like jumped right up there i am going to show how i apply it and everything is super duper creamy you get 10 ounces of product which is awesome now there is another one though that i saw glam twins talk about i do want to try that one but i picked this one up because it said it was silicone free that one said it didn't say it wasn't it does contain glycerin but there's a trick that i do when it when a product contains glycerin at least i'll leave in I do have my gel or my styler not contain glycerin. That way I'm not piling on too much glycerin and I'm very aware. I feel I I try to be the conscious person putting on products. So, so I really do love this. If you have high porosity hair or if you have fine thin hair and you want a product that's not going to weigh it down but be highly moisturizing, I highly recommend this one. So let me just say on snapchat i actually have a series called bi-weekly beat that i am loving i love my collection but if i'm not appreciating and using the products what's the use of even having a collection i feel like so what i do is rotate my foundations my concealers everything so i use this to actually store so i can just pick it up in the morning and i tell you it has cut my makeup time in half just because I know what I'm going to use so a lot of my favorites are in here it's in no particular order because this is what makes the come this is this is what makes the video interesting right so I'm going to talk about a couple of foundations that I have been loving now I have done a review on both of these on my channel the born this way by Too Faced and the Maybelline matte and poreless but this one is a little bit too light this one's a little bit too dark i mixed the two but the finish that i get is impeccable i love these two mixed together like my girl andrea renee has been talking about like mixing foundations and i really usually don't do that these two are so good so so good and yeah i just been loving these two if you want to check out the reviews i will list them somewhere in this video or down in the description bar but i love these this one actually is very very hydrating this one actually has an, a primer inside of it and it's matte and poreless in the matte and poreless i'm 330 caramel toffee this is my summer shade and this is my winter shade so since i'm between both of them i mix the two and this is the shade sand so i feel like i get the best of both worlds and i get a very nice nice finish so i love these another foundation that i have been loving is the smashbox and i guess this is is this foundation this is a smashbox camera ready bb water with spf 30 i love this number one because it has a dropper i don't think i've done a review on this i did haul this like i don't know a year ago but i felt like i need to use this now the spf probably is no longer active in here so I do put one under it if you have foundations and it's over a year since you've used them the SPF is probably not even active anymore because SPF does has an expiration date but I absolutely love this this is in the shade medium oh I forgot to tell y'all this 
but this BB water, I found out something that I'm going to talk about a little bit later, but this Smashbox Camera Ready BB water, I really love it. It gives a very, very beautiful hydrating finish. This is amazing if you have dry skin. I highly recommend this one. It's watery, but it's very, very, very good. So let's talk primers. I love this MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance base visage this is a really really good i have it's been a while since i used this but it's a creamy hydrating texture that i really do like if you have dry skin this is a really good primer it has the glycerin in it that's going to make the foundation stick to the base to your base or to your skin but i really do like this you get 1.7 uh fluid ounces of product i really do like this and you know you can take this back to back so I feel like I'm going to use this. It's been a while since I used it and I need to use this up. So that's why I have that over here. Okay, so let's talk in set in terms of setting powders. Two that I have been loving. I actually just used this. This is on my face today. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I have it in 600 Golden Beige. I really do like this. It's not too cakey. It's not one of those cake face. It reminds me of the Studio Fix by MAC. But that can get cakey on you really quick. I actually really do like this one a bit better. Especially since I have dry skin. I don't like a flat matte. I feel like that I still get a beautiful finish with this. And it actually operates, I feel like, like a high-end product. So I'm really, really enjoying this. Oh, the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder, I absolutely love. Now, I thought I was going to love this under my eye, but I actually like this a lot better just as a face or a finishing powder really to set my makeup if i want that hydrating look but i want to set my face or have that dewy look i highly recommend this i have it in the shade three if i wanted to use it under eye i need to get a shade lighter because this makes my it just makes everything look kind of flat but i really do like it on my skin it gives like a nice fresh glow I am in love with this and I feel like this is what the NARS translucent crystal would be if it was if it had some tint to it so I really really enjoy this and I feel like this is a really good for dry skin another product that I love I've talked about this probably in a ride or die I've talked about it so much but I believe like one of my favorite blushes from Mac is Mac peaches I absolutely love 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 this product I used this the other day and it just gives like a nice pinch of color. My skin goes to a peachy pink when I look flushed. So I feel like this is like the best of both worlds. This is like a year round blush. You know, some blushes you can only use like in the fall, the winter, the spring, summer. This one definitely is a year round for me. And I'm trying to use it up because it's one of my older blushes, but it's still working so, so well. So I'm really loving this. Okay, so I have to talk about this foundation. We're going back to foundation, you guys. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus oh, blew me away. This is like my blow away type of product this month. And I have it in Desert Beige. This is so good. They have a variety of shades. The only thing that I would say about Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild please put it out for dark skin girls too like first like don't put out the shades and then put us on the second string of what you restock at the drugstore what is about I don't know what that is about but I'm glad that you do have it in the store but my shade was actually the darkest one when I first went in and it was new to the drugstore so the deep deeper skin tones are just now coming out with product so I don't know what that's about but please just put it all out at the same time I'm just saying but I absolutely love this foundation it works so well it's so beautiful on the skin it's a great everyday I love wearing this to church especially events I don't know if it would last that long in terms of all day wear um I just feel like my NARS sheer glow just does it but I really do like this as an everyday foundation that's gonna give you a beautiful finish like a very beautiful everyday foundation absolutely love it and I use that in a get ready with me, like trying new products or like a full face. And I loved it. Now, this blew me away, away, away. Okay, because it, I feel like it's a dupe to my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And it is the, this is the Pressed Powder Photo Focus by Wet n Wild. This is in Neutral Buff. 
I use this one over the all over my face but I do have one that I use for my bronzer and I also have one for my under eye I love this so much better than using this like this bronzer is really good but now that I have three of these I don't even want this anymore so I really really do like this if you want a I feel like this is a really really good powder at the drugstore if you need something and this was only like five dollars like top five under five this will be in a video okay so let's go back to hair this I got for two dollars at CVS I've used this before but it's even better that it's less and I can get it from the 99 cent store I only paid two dollars for it this is the L'Oreal Evercold sulfate free hydrating charge cleansing conditioner it's amazing it's a low foam it says non-drying anti-frizz system I feel like I can kind of detangle with this I do like the cleansing balm a lot better but this L'Oreal if you are looking if you're a curly girl and you are looking for a sulfate free really good moisturizing hydrating shampoo I highly recommend this one okay and this is in the old packaging but I have fallen back in love with the Silk and Honey Latte Detangling Hair Milk. This is an amazing moisturizer. I love my Moisture Love and this product here. You get 8.5 ounces of product. This is freaking amazing. This is in Nectarine Vanilla and it is glycerin free. Those two are glycerin free. They're amazing moisturizers. Now, the difference between this being a leave-in and a moisturizer, you can use this as a leave-in, but I like a heavier cream, like a more creamy cream. This one is good for moisturizing at night to make your styles last and bring it back to life. If it's starting to look dull or you need like a, some shine to it, you need like some luster to like mm, give some oomph back to it, I highly recommend the Bakura Beauty Silk and Honey Latte. Okay, so let's go to skin. I did do my skincare and hair care nighttime routine. I will link it in this video so you can, guys can check it out, but I talked about these two. Now, I absolutely love the Ole Hendrickson. This is the Pure Truth Melting Cleanser. I love this. Basically, it gets everything off, even waterproof mascara. It gets it off of your face. It breaks up the dirt. And that's the difference between a makeup remover and a pre-cleanser. This pre is a pre-cleanser because this is going to break up the makeup. That's what you want because you will have, if you just go in and cleanse your skin, you'll find yourself doing it a couple of times to get everything, everything off. You'll have to use a wipe, then a cleanser and everything. This breaks up the makeup. Oil breaks up the makeup and it makes it easier to clean off. So anything oil based you can actually use, but I'm really loving this one because I feel like my skin is nourished afterwards. This Laneige, oh my goodness, this brightening sparkling water foam cleanser is amazing. It's very, very foamy. I like it because I feel like my skin is like squeaky clean but not stripping. And when it comes to being like dry, you don't want anything to strip it any further than what it is already. So absolutely love this Laneige sparkling foam cleanser. You can pick this up at Target. Let's turn to color products in terms of makeup. I have been loving this. I cannot put this down. This is the Makeup Forever. This is the Artist Shadow Palette. This is Volume 4. This is the one that's the All Matte Palette. I actually have it on today. I actually have on these three colors. Wait, no. I have on this. Well, I started with this. Then I went in with this one as a transition with this one on my um in my crease and this one is on my lid and i mixed these two for my brow bone i love this y'all know how much i love a black in it but i've used all these colors this is i didn't realize how much i love this product until i started putting on my eyes they blend so smoothly and makeup forever shadows can be pretty pricey so if you want the same shadows these are the same shadows they're just in smaller pans it actually tells you what the shade is on the back. I absolutely love this. This is probably my favorite matte. Like I've tried the Ultimate Basics. I've tried some other matte shadows. I do have another like all matte palette from The Balm. But this Makeup Forever shadow, this palette right here is everything. If you are looking for an affordable, like not going to break the bank, but you still want some really good matte shadows, Highly recommend the Weekend Warrior Amanda Steele Color Pop 
this is the palette that she came out with but you can actually get them individual i use this in a get ready with me a full face of makeup and the look came out so good these oh my goodness these are so smooth putting on I would say that they are comparable to the Makeup Forever, to be honest with you. If you want to go on a smaller scale, and this can be pretty expensive. I think this is between $40 and $50. But at the same time, by the time you get as many shadows in here, you will have paid that amount. So it, I guess it depends on if you want two or three or if you want a palette. If you just want two or three like shadows i highly recommend you getting the pressed shadows from um from ColourPop instead of maker forever but this is still such a great value i'm just saying and it comes with a mirror this one does not but these shadows are so 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 good i didn't realize that i was gonna like them as much and each shadow is so so beautiful and it gets me out of my comfort zone of still using neutrals these are like cool tone shades so really enjoyed this like I have more favorites but those are the ones that really really come to mind so I hope you guys enjoyed this favorites video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you hadn't already and I will see you beautiful you in the next video bye love you